Omaha hits nearly 100 degrees and tens of thousands of people do not have power. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maddie Augustine. It's only going to get hotter. Meteorologist Luke Vickery has your upfront forecast in a moment. But first, let's go to KTV Newswatch 7's Sean McKinnon with how people are staying cool with help from a school. Westside High School was open today as a place to cool off for anyone who needed it. At least 70 people showed up throughout the day. An important resource during sweltering summer heat and a widespread outage. School is back in session at Westside next Thursday, but for now, adults are filling the seats. Westside opened its doors and cool air to the public Saturday after a historic storm wiped out power across Omaha. It's really nice, and I have heard people talk about how hot their houses are. Indoor temperature is now about 84. We sleep in a basement, but it's too hot up in the main parts. There was pizza, snacks, cold water, and even the Olympics on TV. Hank Clouchy was happy enough. With no power, he was missing watching the games and actually having some AC. I just think it's that you can't get cool. It's like there's no, you look forward to going in after you're done working outside and you don't get cool when you get inside. Around the block at Brandon Creeling's house. This is a common problem. Like this line's been down I mean, two years ago, we were out of power for six days. This line's a problem. The down line is in his side yard, his street, and has left his family of eight without any power. Friday night got hot. Yeah, it was pretty much sweating through the night. So he sent the kids, including his 16-year-old with severe asthma, to his family's house outside Fremont. With even worse heat forecasted the next two days, it's not going to get any better. The heat, yeah. We have enough generators to run fans, run power, you know, make sure my kids' cell phones and iPads are charged. Um, but just the heat, the heat, uh, it couldn't happen at a worse time. The power going out, a reminder of simpler times. So it's like when we grew up before we had air conditioning. It just kind of reminds me of that. But also a reminder of the dangers of high temps. I think the elderly probably are impacted more than anybody. We're both in our mid-70s, so it's kind of taking the toll. Westside's cooling center is open again tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Olympics will be on. You can charge your phone there and they plan on serving lunch again there too. Back to you, Maddie.